Hey everybody, this is Ori from Circuit and I'm going to show you how to use the Search Console or the Google Webmaster Tools to spot 404 errors that were found by Googlebot. Uh, so all you have to do is go log into the Search Console and go to the Crawl tab on the left and click on Crawl Errors. Okay. So once you see that, you'll be able to see some more information about the different types of errors, DNS, server connectivity, robots.txt. Um, if you actually go to the URL errors, you can look under the not found box or tab right here, and you can actually see how the trend goes by graph up or down, or if it stays the same, of course. And here you'll be able to see a list of everything right here, okay? Of course, you can actually uh, filter and show more results, for example, 500 rows here, or in this case, I only have 96, so let's go filter by 100. And of course, I can download that as well and then open it in Google Drive use it and, and fix it but I wanted to show you a little bit of idea how you understand what these errors are uh, if they're uh, already fixed which you can actually check box and click as mark as fixed or if you need to fix them so for example um, let's click on this for example right here which is uh, detected um, actually about two weeks ago roughly so it's a little old but let's click on it right here I'm gonna open a box right here and I can see the the first detection and the last one um, and I can actually see the URL if I click on it of course I get a 404 page which it's good to actually uh, verify that okay so 404 page and um, if I go to the linked from tab I'll be able to see where it got linked from and then I can actually find which page or which pages are actually writing that in the code and I can either remove them if they're not relevant, redirect them, fix a typo or whatever issue it might be. So I can just click on it and then it'll open and then I can move forward. And once I finish fixing it, I can mark as fixed. Okay. Now, if you mark as fixed, then uh, if the error keeps on coming back and Googlebot returns to your site, let's say a few weeks later uh, and still sees it, it'll it'll bring it back to the list, of course. It's not fixing it for Google, it's just fixing it for this list itself. So once you fix it, mark them as fixed and come back every now and then and actually try to reduce this list. Um, that's basically it. So hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.